Howdy y'all. So I got lots to talk about today in this video here there today. So this I just actually got um, and I do have to give a shout out to Clary. Or I hope that's how you pronounce it. But um, these things, uh, well, for one, the, the only reason I got it, there are several reasons I got it. One, The main reason was because I had points on my Amazon uh, card and could get it down to about 100 bucks. And I was like, wow. First, I love binding on guitars. I can't believe that they started doing that. Two, it's a little bit different from the one that I had. Um, three, I'm super glad I purchased this because they're... They are, as a company, I think, improving dramatically, and I liked their stuff before. It was inexpensive, and, and like this one here. This I bought a long time ago. I modified it. Um, I'm calling it Freya 2. I'm still in the process of doing things to it. Um, I might do things faster to it now because I like this one, and I didn't want to, quote, unquote, screw it up. Um, so, but uh, this, the way that they're building these these days, I literally took this out of the box and went, oh my God, did they send me the right guitar? Because I was expecting something completely different and their build quality has gotten a lot better. And it was pretty good in the first place. I mean, for a, a cheap, quote unquote cheap, it's inexpensive, but they ain't cheap. And did it come ready to play out the box? Kind of. I mean, you can make it work. Um, was it comfortable for me? No. Uh, I had to lower the action. I had to, um, it, it, the, and the, the truss rod, I had it. this is what's weird because usually, you know, you have to adjust the truss rod. I had to adjust the truss rod. I mean, just slight, I mean, slightly, and it played so much better. And then just lowering the action, and it's like, wow, I can deal with this. I haven't touched the frets. I haven't done anything to it, so... <laughs> And then uh, just sitting around playing, um, instruments do like to have things come out of them. And uh, I was born and raised in, uh, I'll call it the shadow of New York, but right across the bay from New York City. And um, there is this little place called Broadway. And especially because, you know, like all the off-Broadway shows would put t with commercials on TV. And, and so, oh my God, I probably know all those just from the stupid commercials, hearing them over and over and over again. But, uh, you know, sometimes other things stick in your head and just that uh, I just st I, I knew that there I knew around the chords. I thought it started. I thought it was in A, but I wasn't sure I thought it was in G, actually. So um, but it just I uh, hit that. That last one there screws me up. Because it goes to the, I'll tell you the chords, it goes A, G. And it switches D, D. And then uh, E. Oh, sorry. The saving neon lights are bright on Broadway. So that, that's the chords, that's it. And yeah, I'm super a lot better at uh, just playing it than playing it and singing it. And uh, that was going to be my next question is, so uh, any all guitar players and singers out there, how do you do that? Because I've been try some things I can, but then I, I, I realize that part of my problem is my brain went and uh, I just kind of, you know, completely 
lost part of it and I'm trying to I don't know if I'm trying I don't know what happened but it used to be the other other way around I used to be able to remember all the words and couldn't remember chords for shit um, now I'm starting to get the grooves and the chords and all that but now I can't remember words how do you put them together um, if there's any suggestions please let me know because um, I could really use some help on that one anyways <laughs> So that's a little bit more about me, a little bit quick. Uh, um, the, the other reason that I played it uh, like that, like the way I was playing it was because you, you can totally play, you know. I will give a shout out to my friend Horace, who a long time ago asked uh, me and Brian at work, uh, said, how do you get rid of that, that uh, sound that, that when you switch back and forth? That, the, that, the, the scratchy sound. To him, it was like um, nails on a blackboard. Um, and a lot of times, I don't even hear it because to me, it's part of the, the music. Uh, but uh, that's why I play it like that because um, uh, up here, because it, it just it sounds so much better because you can just deaden it and you you get rid of that ah, all in between the chords. And it just sounds better up here. That that E up here sounds better than the E down there. And it's also a good um, exercise for uh, dampening both uh, with your palm, palm muting, and um, with these fingers, you know, just releasing them, you know. Anyways, I hope y'all is having a good day. I uh, got an appointment early today, so it's going to be a little bit, this is going to be released a little bit early because I got to go. I'm trying to heal myself here. Anyways, I hope y'all is having a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I still want to give away a guitar if I can get a thousand subscribers. So hook me up, man, so I can hook somebody up. Anyways, I'll see y'all. Have a good day. Peace.